Parkville school shooting, school safety is a big concern. How would you advocate for student and teacher safety as a school board member? And in light of all the things that everyone's throwing out there, do you agree with our representative Vicki Hartzler that uh, we should have armed guards in our schools? Just throwing it up. No. <laughs> I think it's a spike. Uh, is it being... No, I'm sorry. I think it's um, this. Yeah, it's, it's, yes, yes, I'm sorry. I didn't write it on my card. Just whoever wants to grab it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. This is such a heartbreaking issue as we all have watched this on national TV. It's devastating. If we look at those kids, if we look at those families, if we think about those lives that have been lost. Um, as a board member, our job is to set policy for schools. And part of that is ensuring safe schools. And so some things that have been put in recently um, that I'm excited, as I'm sure um, many of you are, um, we have um, video and intercom systems, electric door locks, security cameras, protective films for the entryways for doors and windows. I know the district's also exploring facial recognition software. All of these things are great. We must stay vigilant, though. This, it's, we're in this place where this has become the educational issue of our time, tragically. Um, and it's something that I think as we come together, if we have um, different viewpoints politically, this is the time for us to come together as a community and really work on something to ensure that our kids are safe. One of the things that I would like to suggest or propose um, is a district uh, task force on safety and security which would include mental health folks, district officials, law enforcement officials, and most importantly, teachers in classrooms who are there side by side with kids each day. They're the ones that are closest to what we value most, classroom teachers. Also, front office staff who have that responsibility of having to let people in and out of the building. We need to hear from those folks. We need to know exactly what's going on in our buildings and work for extremely safe schools. I'm up for exploring anything available. I think it's a time that we all have to just come together and really look at what's available and really protect our kids. The, the issue of school safety is absolutely heartbreaking. When, when you hear that kind of news, um, played out over the television and over the radio, it, it cuts through you. As a former administrator, there was never a day, a week, a moment that went by with that, without that in my mind. You worry constantly about the what could happen, so you work to take measures to help prevent things from happening. Education is one. As a school district, we have, uh, we've gone through um, active shooter training in partnership with the Columbia Police Department. Um, the window film that is now being put on buildings is part of a grant that I initially wrote looking for more secure ways to protect buildings. The bottom line is, is that you will never come up with the every scenario that someone might possibly try. But you have to be present. You have to be out moving around in your buildings. You have to be observant. But you also have to be aware. You have to be teaching all the time. You have to be providing professional development. The, the issue it, it's not going to go away. So I would also want to know what does our community feel like needs to happen in our schools? So this could be a, a world cafe on its own. What does our community want from us as a school district to help to protect their children? answering the questions of the reporter earlier and the question about armed guards came up and our board has talked about that and I don't like that I don't support that I don't think that's the answer at all I do believe as a district our size we've in increased the number of buildings 
and I don't necessarily believe that our safety and security office group is large enough to secure our buildings the way we want to. And when I say secure our buildings, I'm talking about being first responders and making sure they conduct the training and doing the things that they do. I'm not talking about being out in our buildings armed. Um, they are armed, but not, you know what I'm saying, not guarding our buildings the way an armed guard would. So just like we've in increased other personnel because our buildings, our number of buildings have increased, I think our safety and security office um, probably needs to increase. That being said, we've also talked about a finite amount of money and what are the needs of the district. So that would have to be a discussion that we would have with our community, with our board, with our administrative staff, and certainly most importantly with our teachers. Um, and, and I do believe that it's on the minds of our teachers every day about the safety and security, not only of their students, but of themselves. Let's not forget, they leave the buildings most times at dark. And I know we've had some issues at some of our buildings and we've addressed it with lighting and with security. And, and so that's a safety issue that we're really not talking about. We're talking about what happens during the day, during broad daylight when everybody's around, but what happens at those, at those off hours. The other thing that I think that we really need to be vigilant about is we have so many students that travel by bus and that are leaving, coming to and from campus. And we tell our parents, as soon as your student gets on that, I almost said first student, Student Transportation of America bus, they're ours. And we need to protect them from the time they get on the bus to the time they get to school to the time they get back to their bus stop. So it is a community-wide discussion we need to have as well. Um, this is a topic I feel very passionate about and I have a lot of opinions, so I'm gonna try not to soapbox. Um, I agree with the current standards that we have and any kind of um, involvement on how to better those protocols. I think it's just honestly disgusting that it is such a partisan political issue now. Um, and I don't think it should be that way. Um, I'm op I agree with having trained um, armed personnel, it's like what we have now, like the security officers, sorry. Um, I'm okay with the, them being um, armed. I don't think the answer is arming teachers with guns or having any kind of concealed carry in, in, in schools. Um, that's my personal beliefs and, and I don't think I could see myself supporting any kind of um, vote on moving in that direction. Um, the, that being said, I, it is no harm in being vigilant and having proper protocols and knowing what to do if something of like that arose. Um, so that's, this is important to have proper protocols and systems set up for if um, someone feels like there's a threat or um, something that should be looked into that either teachers or students or anybody has knows where to go to report such issues so something like that can hopefully be um, prevented. Um, I commend the uh, Columbia Public School District for the steps they've taken over the past few years to try to be more secure. It is really tragic when um, teachers and students have to worry about this on a day-to-day -day basis, but I appreciate the training uh, that the school district has done for teachers and students to try to, as best as they can, prepare for something like this. It's somewhat ironic when I left Kansas City 20 years ago, I remember feeling uncomfortable when many of the schools had uh, metal detectors so that when students came in every day, that was something that they needed to go through. At that point, the concern was maybe somebody bringing a handgun, I guess, uh, from home, and so they would want to be able to uh, discover those and, and deal with it. And now we're um, really faced with uh, a much bigger issue that's very, very hard to plan for and uh, prepare for. I guess one of the things that I've been most impressed with after this tragedy though is how the students came forward and really did have a voice and I feel like they're leading the rest of us adults maybe the direction we need to go where that they don't have to worry and be afraid 
at school every day. Um, that it doesn't have to be something that they even plan for and do a drill on, uh, like we do a fire drill or something. So I'm very impressed with the students, and I guess that gives me hope that, uh, one, I think the school districts across the country are, are um, educating really great kids, and hopefully us adults can follow along.